Naturalization is a type of habitat restoration and involves the deliberate reintroduction of species that are native to a given area or are well adapted to the climate circumstance. It also includes activities that are intended to improve and enhance the natural environment and reduce the required operational maintenance. The biodiversity and ecosystem function of a naturalized ecosystem is lower compared to a native habitat, but much higher compared to a manicured urban landscape. In this park, you can see some mowed areas, a walking path, uh, a playground behind us, and a naturalization uh, area. This is a great example of balancing the natural landscape and a manicured landscape for various uses. We know the initial phase isn't pretty when we start naturalizing, but like the story of the ugly duckling growing into a beautiful swan, time will give us spaces we can take pride in. In fact, our biggest space many Edmontonians have great pride in is our river valley. Well made of a lot of natural and naturalized spaces. Naturalizations mean, means you don't have to travel all the way to the river valley to enjoy nature. It will be everywhere. It's really important around our stormwater facilities that we do keep some naturalization. There's so many added benefits. Uh, these are our facilities, they're utilities. Although they're great to look at, they're beautiful to, to live around, uh, they actually do a service to us. They help keep water out of the basements. Um, they actually collect all the drainage from all the surrounding uh, roadways. When that water is running down the roadway in a torrent, it's being collected in this facility and then slowly released back into uh, back to the river is how, how those facilities work. And so it's really important that we have uh, additional um, uh, vegetation around these areas because it helps protect the edges for soil erosion. It actually works as a bit of a safety uh, a safety buffer, soft buffer, rather than fencing it so that people can't access the site. A lot of times this will also just deter people from wandering in, young children going into the into the stormwater pond. That's something that we do want to you know keep in mind as well. Um, the vegetation also provides shade and cooling for the water which is beneficial to any kind of uh, uh, aquatics uh, animals like frogs, some small fish, snails, uh, dragonflies for instance which are beneficial insects insects who uh, will actually eat or eat the, the not so friendly insects like, like uh, mosquitoes. So there's a lot of diff uh, different beneficial uh, reasons for having naturalization plus having this around outside your backyard I'm sure it feels really relaxing to go for a walk whenever we uh, it helps with the quality of life of just enjoying the nature right close into our own in our own uh, backyard. So uh, there's lots of great benefits.